Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Shalom Shai. Bahashem Wakakudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird. And to the uh, the Akwaf that are listening and learning. To you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with another lesson. And um, just going to talk about uh, current events, uh, things of that nature. Damn bugs out here like crazy. Damn fly just bit me. Who the hell gets bit by a fly? But um, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> the pestilence, <laughs> that's, that's one thing. But woke this morning and... You know, the first thing I always do is, is I, I give all glory and honor to you, how about you, Shai, the first words that always come out of my mouth. And I turned on my phone and I uh, woke up a minute before my alarm went off. And uh, I turned on the phone and the first thing I do is go and start checking the, the, the news feeds and the, the videos and different videos. And I watched a couple videos from different brothers uh, from, the, from the body of the Great Millstone. And... Um, from a collective of videos this is you know and uh, other news sources this is what i came up with all right and um what i learned was that there were floods in michigan there were two dams that broke um and one of them and it was a whole town destroyed a whole town all right so there are things out here that are bigger than and worse than covid which is probably what i'm going to be the title of this uh, video, probably what I would name it. There are things coming that are bigger than and worse than COVID. So let's go straight to uh, Isaiah, the 29th chapter. So this is Isaiah 29 and uh, 6. And it reads, Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise and with storm and with tempest and flame of devouring fire. And this, this uh, flood from these dams caused all those things to happen. All those things happen. Fire, tempest, flood, it all happened. All right, one more scripture. This is... Uh, Isaiah 30 and 30 and it reads and Yahweh shall cause his glorious voice to be heard all right because when the thunder and lightning remember when he came down to speak to the Israelites it was like thunder and lightning all right it says and Yahweh shall cause his glorious voice to be heard and shall show the lightning down in his arm with indignation of his anger and with flame of devouring fire, with scattering tempests and hailstones. And it was just hailstones and, 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 and tempests that hit down in Mexico that destroyed property. You know, you had, uh, you had hailstones the size of uh, uh, softballs and melons, man. You know, that, 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 was, that was an act of, of from on high itself to have hailstones like that. I've seen some of the destruction of the different cars and properties. I can only imagine the animals, that uh, the livestock that was lost to, uh, to hell that size, man. All right? You got crops in the Midwest uh, are flooded out again in the midst of this whole thing. In the midst of a, foods, of a food shortage, you know? Food pantry lines are, uh, that, are, that, are, that are lined up, you know, two and three blocks, city blocks long, man. Car lines for, for, for food supplies that go for miles, man. All right, the Lord is not playing with it here, man. He, it's like their their food lines all over Babylon, right? Be why? Because that famine. As a matter of fact, let's go to Genesis. This is uh, Genesis 41. Turn right to it. That was the Spirit. Uh, verse 30, and it reads. And there shall arise after them seven years of famine, and all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Egypt, and the famine shall consume the land. 
So you can ready to have some major, major food issues here in Babylon, man. Major, major food issues. Because you got you got the supply chain of food has been uh, compromised here in Babylon. Okay, as as this uh, cause this this area that I was sitting in was all that I'm sitting in right now in Lincoln Park was all gated off, and they finally pulled down. Not not that these the, you know E up here wasn't was ignoring that shit anyway and coming over here, but now they pulled it down because why they they're trying to semi open up a little bit, but you know. America was failing when everything was fully open. What makes you think it's going to do well with everything partially open? Think about it. Okay, let's jump to verse 36. Genesis 41, 36. It just says, And that, and that food shall be, Salakia, and food shall be for store in the land against seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Egypt. And the land perish not through the famine. So this time there's not going to be any save in Egypt. Any, there never was a save in Babylon. But there's, you know, you don't have Joseph here today, you know, to, to, to store up. If Joseph was here today, they would deny, they would tell him that he's not an Israelite. You know, they would tell him he was a Puerto Rican or something. You know, they would, they would, uh, they wouldn't listen to his wise counsel anyway. All right, but uh, you know, brick by brick, province by province, city by city, Babylon is being torn down. Man, the Lord is tearing down this place. All right, then you got this issue, uh, another issue going on where you just had a an Iranian uh, warship. Um, escorted uh, um, a tanker full of gas to Venezuela. All right, now remember that was just an attempted coup in Venezuela, failed coup, which America didn't deny it. They just said simply that the letters and the information coming from the people in Venezuela didn't matter because that person is the illegitimate uh, uh, president, a person in power. Well, there's no power that's more illegitimate. That Esau Edom's here in America and anywhere else in the world where he is. All right, this is a man who's got ill, ill, ill-gotten gains, man. Wherever he is, he's not legitimate. He just, through this, through the power of the sword, set him up and said that he's the law. And as you see, the Lord is, is beginning to tear tear that rulership down, man. All right, but yeah, you had a, uh, um, you know, the Iranians just just escorted a tanker. To Venezuela with a military transport, man. All right, so let's let's get a scripture. Let's go to uh, Jeremiah because the uh, the nations are, are sick and tired of 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 of, uh, of E worldwide, man. Especially here in Babylon, even other even 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 other Edomites are tired of E over here in Babylon, man. This is uh Jeremiah fifty one verses uh eight and nine, and it reads. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto the heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're here on the shores of, 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 of America, when this Third World War goes, goes full-blown, you 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 will be you will be uh, uh, sacrificed in, in in those in those fiery arrows that are going to come from from every corner of the earth, man, to this place, because the the Lord the Bible promises that this place is going to be wiped off the face of the earth, man. And if you can't see that build up happening, all right, especially once this 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 business with this with this COVID and all and, and many other atrocities that has been done and cloaked uh, in the name of of democracy and all that other stuff. Is, is revealed to the nations, man. The people are tired, man. Just like, you know, you got half the people wearing masks and half the people not wearing it. Okay? Because you got two sets of information out there. All right? And, and, and E is creating that order out of, out of, out of kale, but he, hasn't, he has no control over it. No, no control whatsoever. All right? Let's go to uh, 
real quick to uh, um, Second Ezra. All right, because uh, those Iranians are the Carmenians that are spoken about in the Bible, man. Either Second Ezra is fifteen and thirty, and it's it's funny that um, while I was putting these precepts together for this lesson, uh, Apostle Ramlal went live, or maybe I don't know if he was live or not, but I just remember looking at it in my feed, uh, and he and he did a video called "Who Are the Carmenians?" All right. Right as I was looking for the scripture, man. So that's hey, I'm, hey, I've been in tune with the with the apostle for like the last week, man. <laughs> it's crazy how the spirit works. But um, this is uh Second Ezra 15 and 30, and it says also the Carmenians raising in their wrath shall go forth as a wild boar of the woods, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them, and shall wait waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians, and that's talking about here in America, man. And it said join battle with them. Who's the them? Who's to them? They're gonna join. They're gonna join unto Gog and Magog, man. All right. The 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 the. It says the Persian and the Medes. They're gonna join on together, man. All right. So let's go to Ezekiel. Um. To the book of Ezekiel. Chapter thirty-eight, and I'm gonna read like verses one through seven and close this out. Because you got these curious uh, Edomites that are getting closer and closer to me. They're closing in like they want to see what I'm doing over here. All right? Instead of minding their own damn business. But this is, uh, <laughs> right, before I have Becky call, call, the, uh, <laughs> call, the, call the law on me. When, you know, when they be doing that, they be trying to get a, a Jake uh, uh, assassinated, assassination by, by a cop. But, uh, but this is Ezekiel 38 and uh, and 1. And it says, And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog and the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus saith Yahweh power, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, chief prince of Meshach, and I will turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in thine army, horses and horsemen, and all the clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all handling swords. Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, with them, all of them with shield and and helmet. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togomar, the north quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. Be thou prepared, and prepare for thyself, thou and thy company, that are assembled unto thee. Be thou a guard unto them and they're going to be a guard all right unto one another so when they start you know and, and so that them you could you could put north korea in there china russia uh the the, the you know the the carmenians all the all the uh dragons of arabia because but you got to remember they brought all them ishmaelites together when they killed Suleimani. okay and now now you've got this uh this whole deal going down in the in in, in uh, Palestine, where they've cut off all diplomatic ties with uh, with with the Israelis over there, man. So hey, like I said, there are things bigger and much worse than COVID to be worried about. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Abishai by Shem Rakakwadash Wa Ababa Ba Shalom.